Hello, my name is Mustafa Kemaluddin, and in this tutorial we will look at an easy beginner finger style arrangement of House of the Rising Sun. We're going to go over four basic chords, as well as ascending and descending arpeggios, few legato tips, and we're going to look at how to add notes that don't belong to the chord to the harmony, so we can have the effect of playing melody and harmony at the same time, which is an essential element of finger style arrangements. This tutorial will start with a playthrough at tempo, and then a full walkthrough of the piece, and a slow playthrough at the end for you to follow along. So pick up your ukulele, and let's get started. Alright, as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, this piece is made up of four basic chords and they all revolve around the A minor chord shape. So the A minor chord is the second fret on the fourth string with your second finger, and then third string, second string, and first string are all open. So that's two, zero, zero, zero. The next chord is the F major chord, which is 2nd fret on the 4th string, open 3rd, and 1st fret on the 2nd string, open 1st. So that's 2, 0, 1, 0. The 3rd chord is a D minor chord, which is the same as the F major chord, except your 3rd finger will hit the 2nd fret on the 3rd string. So that's 2, 2, 1, 0. The next chord is an E7 chord, which is a little bit challenging. It's the 1st fret on the 4th string with your 1st finger, 2nd fret on the 3rd string with your 2nd finger, open 2nd string, and 2nd fret on the 1st string with your 3rd finger. So that's 1, 2, open 2, fingers 1, 2, open 3. And that's your E7 chord. Now, in the beginning, I said there are four basic chords, but I kind of lied. There is actually a fifth chord, which is your C major chord, which is open, 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 and third fret on the first string. And you can play that either with your fourth finger or third finger. I personally prefer my fourth finger. Once you're comfortable with the chord shapes, it is now time to add ascending and descending arpeggio patterns to them. An ascending arpeggio pattern is when you go up in the pitch while playing the chord one note at a time. So if this is my C major chord, an ascending arpeggio pattern would start at the bass or the lower part of the frequencies, and then I would go up in the pitches or I would go up in the chord. So that's an ascending arpeggio. And likewise, an descending arpeggio is when you go from the higher frequency to the lower frequency. This fingerstyle arrangement takes a simplified version of the melody, the harmony, and adds an ascending and descending arpeggios to them. So let's get started. You start with two open notes on the first string or the A string, and then there's an A minor chord, and instead of playing an open first string, we're going to play a note that doesn't belong to the chord, which is the B or the second fret. And then I'm going to play the third fret on the first string with my fourth finger. This shape is a common finger style shape. You can also play it with your first finger and third finger, and second finger will take care of that second fret. So it will be. But I personally prefer to play with my second finger and fourth finger. So the first bar. Now, while holding the 3rd fret or the C note, I'm not going to let go of it, I will play the open 3 strings. And then I will do a position shift to get that 5th fret. Now this is very important that you don't do... Because when you stop that note, you stop the melody, which stops the effect that we're playing melody and harmony at the same time. So you have to hold that melody note while you play the next chord. Comes a D 
minor chord, F major chord, A minor chord, and I play that third fret with my fourth finger. Now these four notes are all melody notes and two of them happen on the same string. So when we play the three and the zero, make sure you don't repeat your right hand finger. Here is a generic rule that you can apply to make you sound more legato. When you play more than one note on the same string, make sure you alternate your right hand fingers. In this case, I am playing two notes on the second string, the three and the zero, so I'm going to use two different fingers. So that's index on the third fret, middle on the open, index on the second fret, middle on the open. Now comes the bottom part of that E7 chord. And now I'm not going to play a full E7 chord, I'm actually going to play a note that doesn't belong to the E7 chord, which is the open first string. A minor again. D minor. F major chord. Now I'm going to hit that second fret, which doesn't belong to the chord. So again, that's third fret. And I'm going to sustain it. And I am only going to let go of it now when I need to play the second fret so that the melody sounds as the C note, B note and then that descending line to the A note. So it's very important you don't... because it will sound bad, it will sound like you stopped the melody on purpose. Make sure you stretch for that fourth fret. These are two notes on the same string, so we have to alternate our right hand fingers. Then we get that bottom part of that E7 chord again. 3rd fret which doesn't belong to the E7 chord with our 4th finger and then 3rd finger plays the 2nd fret and then an open A. Now here are 3 notes happening on the same string. So what I would do is I would play the 1st fret with my thumb index and then I will play ring middle index A minor chord Now the ending is optional, you don't have to play that harmonic, but if you do want to play it, it's called natural harmonics. A full tutorial of natural harmonics is a little bit outside the scope of this lesson, but I am executing a natural harmonic, which means I am hovering on top of the 12th fret on the first string, I am barely touching the fret with my finger, and then I am playing it and letting it ring as long as possible. So for the slow playthrough, I'm going to be playing in 60 beats per minute, 3-4 time signature, with each quarter note receiving 1 beat at 60 beats per minute. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, and 2, and 3. And 1, and 2, and Once again, my name is Mustafa Kamaldin, and I hope you've learned something in this tutorial, and I hope to see you next time.